It looks like Apple is the market's comeback kid. After a three-quarter streak of declining revenue, the technology giant's stock hit an all-time closing high for the first time in nearly two years on Monday. As investors bet the 10th anniversary iPhone, expected later this year, will bring new momentum to the company. Apple is the world's most valuable public company, with among the most widely held and actively traded shares in the world. In the past 12 months, shares of the $700 billion business have gone up about 41 percent, and more than 9 percent since Apple's earnings report in January showed increased revenue thanks in part to better-than-expected sales of the iPhone 7. On Monday, the company's shares traded above their record close of $133, set in February 2015, and were inches away from the company's all-time intraday high of $134.54, set back in April 2015. The rally came after investor concern over the pace of iPhone sales, soft demand from China, and speculation over whether the company could ever come up with another high-impact product like the iPhone sent the company's shares into a prolonged downward stretch from July 2015 to May 2016. During that downturn, Apple lost its title as the world's largest company by market capitalization to Google's parent company Alphabet, and Apple CEO Tim Cook received a cut in pay after missing the company's 2016 targets. But in May of last year, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway disclosed that it had made a $1 billion bet on Apple stock boosting the company's market value by $18 billion and setting off the iPhone maker's ascent back into record territory. Buffett's bet was followed by another rally after the presidential election in November, when investors speculated that companies with large overseas cash holdings would benefit from the policies of the Trump administration and a Republican-controlled Congress. This latest surge to clear the $133 per share hurdle puts Apple's market value at about $130 billion ahead of the number two company, Alphabet, and beyond the values of ExxonMobil and JPMorgan Chase combined.